Washington State University. Go Cougs! Parkinson's is a neurodegenerative disease in which uh, neurons in the substantia niagara of the midbrain have decayed and it results in motor difficulties such as slowness of movement known as bradykinesia, akinesia, and tremor. I'm Nathan Darnell. I'm a fourth year PhD student of mechanical engineering at Washington State University. I left a career as a machine redesign engineer to return to grad school where I am developing a system to track dyskinesia symptoms in the home setting. My interest in Parkinson's dates back to when I was a teenager and I was helping my grandfather who was diagnosed with Parkinson's. To test my idea, I designed a study in which 19 participants wore five accelerometers on their wrists, ankles, and hip in a one and a half hour study. During the study, the sensors recorded any periods of dyskinesia that persons had. We start with raw accelerometer signals. We process the signals by doing a Fourier analysis combined with uh, filtering. And then from that, we calculate features in the time and frequency domains. These features are compiled into a feature vector and run through Weka's J48 decision tree classifier, from which we are able to classify the instances of dyskinesia with 95.9% .9 accuracy. Clinicians can track dyskinesia fluctuations of their patients with this system while minimizing dyskinesia. We found out um, through um, Northwest Neurological, John's neurologist in Spokane, they had a pamphlet up there about the study that um, Nathan Darnall's doing. Um, and so we called. Um, we've been really wanting to be involved in some kind of research study. I've appreciated that WSU is doing this kind of a study, you know, because it's important. Um, I don't think there's a lot of people out there that realize how many people actually have Parkinson's. You tried to contact or a friend or uh, oftentimes we think of it as being a disease that affects older people, um, but a lot of the people in my study have been in their 50s and still have uh, children living at home. And uh, I've even had a few people who are in their 40s with Parkinson's. And it's, uh, it's a very uh, debilitating disease. Uh, there's a lot of depression that goes along with Parkinson's because of the neuro changes in the brain. And uh, so, you know, anything that I could do to help out this population, I would just be very thrilled about.